Um, hello Twitch? OBS, you gonna load? OBS, you okay? Okay, there we go. Faster, sweet game, please. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Again, we're stuck on a loading screen, but that is, <laughs> that's my time at Porsche, uh, Sandark right now. So I'm thinking there's somewhere else we need to try. I just want to jump down and just like continue exploring. Okay. We journeyed all that way for nothing. I still don't know where we're supposed to get the thing. Oh no. Merd. Shit. Like right off the bat. Here I go. Oh, oh. No more going off the path. Uh, we still need to look at, to find where we're getting a microchip. Maybe it's in the breach. Oh, wrong way. I 
I've not gone this way. Maybe there's something over here. Or maybe I just went in a giant circle. <laughs> oh my god. It was indeed a yield circle. I definitely feel like there should be something over there. I mean, why have a path there? Microchip, microchip, we need to find a microchip. Hello, hello, thank you so much for following Kiba Shiro. How's it going? And welcome to the Cozy Crew. Uh, we're currently trying to find out where to buy microchips and or earn them as they're not registered in any of the, the Rooney areas. So we're gonna go check the breach. Also, say hi to him, sir. So you forgot to say hi to him. Hi, Banjo, do you wanna come home? I um, don't wanna come home. Okay, well, we've already talked to these people. <laughs> oh, it's Ernst. And hello, Miguel. I thought I didn't think I talked to you yesterday during the stream, but apparently we did. Okay. Okay, hazardous reach. Let's try this one. If we get an S rank, maybe it'll give us, um, uh, you're welcome. It's going, thanks. How about yourself? It's going great. I'm, um, playing some sand rock, being hype about it as usual. Wearing my, uh, backer wedding dress that I made. <laughs> and, you know, chilling. Uh, we did bring our gun this time, so we can shoot down things. Ooh. Oh, you want to fight? <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by. Are you super excited for the release of my time at Sand Rock? <laughs> No, did I jump and avoid you? Ha! Huh. And jump. And jump. And jump. And... Treasure. Oh, I did not get the air I thought I would. <laughs> okay, this is where I bungle my score on the... Oh, hello, Mr. Robot. Oh, fudge. Oh. Okay, the whole jumping aspect of the game is kind of where I was like, you're welcome. I've been looking for more fellow VTubers to follow. Oh, nice, you're a VTuber too? Awesome. I'll definitely have to shoot you Apollo. I got zip zapped. Oh no, am I out of here? Thank you! <laughs> I've been making a lot of YouTuber clothes lately. In my free time, I'm just like, ooh.
Uh, I'm pretty new, but I joined the VTuber life. Yeah. Awesome. The VTuber life is pretty great. <laughs> Give me loot. Woo! Microchip, microchip, microchip. Yes! Microchip! Oh, that hurt everything inside my character's body. Microchip. No microchip. <laughs> I've certainly enjoyed it thus far. Nice! Uh, did you make your own model? I will have to shout you out so I can go see it. Uh, shout out, out. Keep up. You were last playing Resident Evil. Ooh, spooky. It's like... I sent you a follow. <laughs> so tell me what kind of VTuber are you? Are you people? Do you have cute ears? Tell me all about it. I, I did make my own model. You'll probably have to look in the clips. I don't currently have any VOD safe. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was wondering. I'm like, oh no, where are clip clips of uh, videos? <laughs> clip clips. Oh no. Aw, so cute. <laughs> All right, we have absolutely no health, so, so we're just gonna leave the area. We did get two microchips today, so tomorrow if we do the same thing, we should be able to get another microchip. I used Vero Studio, some stuff I found online. It's nothing fancy, but it's mine. Nice! <laughs> um, my friend made my model for me, but then I started making clothes, and now I have a problem. <laughs> have way too many outfits. Oh gosh, it's so late. Ooh. Something leveled up, and I can't wait to see. <laughs> uh, as for the model, I am a wolf boy, but my ears look more like cat ears. <laughs> oh, nice! That's awesome! I'm sure they'll add more ears eventually, sadly. We have to wait. <laughs> Was there a meeting? Nah, people are just stuck there. <laughs> oh, we better steal from, we can't steal from him. Someone already stole it. What? <laughs> I have a friend who makes a lot of outfits for her, her model and she's the only one who actually, aw, that's so cute. Audible, Audible, Audible. You're probably like, why are you just spamming buttons? I'm looking for my microchips. I am, oh, I'm only one away from my upgrade. Oh, hot damn. Okay, now we have to just Spam the button and look for the parts. I believe we can 
these and something else, but I can't quite remember. God, I took a picture of it. Steel bars. We have all of that too. Good D. I'm sure butter ears are out there. I just need to find the assets. Yeah, yeah. Eventually. <laughs> that in there and probably go to bed. I did. How about you? Did you make your super cute heart? I did. I actually love making emotes. <laughs> As you're reading this letter, I'm already on the train heading for Atara. I tried to come and see you early this morning, but you were asleep. The irony wasn't lost on me. It was really nice meeting you, and I guess I never really thanked you properly. Here, have a belt. <laughs> you did so much to help us. Here, I have a belt. Gotta go to the store and get my microchip. Bam. Microchip. It's the only emote of my own that I have, sadly. I haven't had the money to commission anyone for any more emotes. Oh no. They're adorable, sadly not. Oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> Hey, writing is crazy, so like, also no one's really bad at art. <laughs> I love the generic tourist NPCs in this game, they're all the same. Ah, oh, soon enough you'll have your own emotes, and it'll be awesome! Ooh, hello. What's this mean? Cast the hair nails. How do I make that? We go through our handbook, we look at the machines. Or all. I mean, I draw a dragon on paper once and it looked like my three old nephew drew it. Aww. Oh, actually done quite a few emotes for people. It's actually really fun to make emotes for other people. It's probably one of my favorite things. Yeah. Well, I've made emotes for like one other person. And then like a single emote for the odd person here or there.
Lend me the bubble seat. I need it for research. What research is it specifically? Also, I need to be right back super quick. Okay, I'm back. Framing my research with such terminology distinguish, uh, diminishes the prestige somewhat, but yes. <laughs> Was the in our um I wow I'm good at reading today thank you. <laughs> to be fair, just us using it on the bridge is where most of us uh most of the wear and tear came from. I think your little fender bender was just the straw that broke the camel's back. <laughs> I mean, it looks like the front of the armor is damaged and uh, the engine is broken. On top of that, several hydraulic powered joints are beyond stress. I'd say it needs an overhaul at least. Tell you what, the city's got no plans to use the suit anytime soon. Fix her up, keep her in tip top shape, and you can go on with your little joyride. I mean, research. What do you think? I accept. I will, however, need a whole host of rather complex materials to make the repair. To say the civil corpse can handle the task would be a rather dubious claim. Well, look who it is. When it comes to mats, why not ask our friendly neighborhood builder here to help us out? Hey, Zoppy, quick, reliable, and deft hand. There's no one better for the job, or <laughs> if that is what you want to do, Zoppy. One moment, please. Oh, good. He's giving us a list. Here is a grocery list of parts I need to fix my Gundam. Thank you for the welcome. Hey, Heidi, get back here. Oh, wait, I don't need Heidi. I just need her table. <laughs> there we go. I was afraid it wouldn't be big enough. But we did it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 
I think we can go build that thing now. Oh no. There's a quest for us on the bridge. Let's go. Hey Zoppy, fancy seeing you here. Come check out this view. It's only right here that you can see both valley, uh, valleys of the canyon. But if I'm being honest, I really just came here to admire your handiwork from a different angle. You know, when I said my master Verna would be proud, actually now I'm not so sure about that. She's more into deconstructive, uh, deconstructivist architecture. <laughs> no, you don't literally deconstruct anything. It's a design term. You do construct the rules that you're supposed to follow and then actively set out not to follow the rules. The result is usually something pretty odd looking, but neat, you know. <laughs> so if you were to get emo emotes, Kiba, what kind of emotes did you get? Here's for you, Verna. Uh, here's one for you. Verna always used to ask this. Uh, Ask us this is, as a new apprentice. Would you rather build something really beautiful or something useful? Well, you might be in the wrong town. We haven't gotten the part uh, that. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. I love super uh, geometric patterns on my buildings as much as the next gal. It's just I can't stay in Artara working on vanity projects knowing that people I care about were hurting. So after I finished my apprenticeship, I packed my bags, tossed all my job offers in the trash can, and bought a one-way ticket back to Sandrock. My master, she's a piece of work. You know the last thing she said to me? She showed up at the train station with one of those weird little pigs tucked under her arm. Just to squeak out one last, you're wasting your talent. But when I see the bridge we built, this plain old run-of-the-mill, just doing its job and nothing else, not very non-deconstructivist bridge, I know in my heart that I did the right thing in coming back home. We saved Sandrock, you know. This won't be our last fight, but well, uh, it very well could have been. It's good knowing you're uh, having you on the team, Selfie. I hope I, uh, you'll stay here, at least until we can turn things around. Well, shucks, I didn't mean to tell you my whole life story. You've probably got places to go, uh, places to be. I'll probably stick around and so can uh, the view a little longer. I can hang.
All right, all right. This looks great. You're a legit builder. I'll be in my museum devising plans. I'll make sure that this is the best dang attraction this town has ever seen. Check your mailbox. I don't want you missing the opening ceremony. We still need the twine to make our next upgrade. He better drop some twine. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and have to go find another one. I really don't want to. Oh! He, like, kicked me so hard, my screen, like, fuzzed out. We got the twine. Let's run. It's the train. Packatory. Thank you so much for the hydrate. Let us do the sip sip. Sip sip. <laughs> so Kiba, what kind of emotes would you want if you were to get some? Would they be little emotes of your wolfie? I think we're just short the microchips and the wire. Damn, let's get our forge on. If I was to get some, I'd want some using my uh, wolf boy avatar in an anime-esque style. A bit like yours with ears and such. Yeah, oh cute. <laughs> they sound adorable. I'm hoping they will be. I just need to find an artist and save up. Yeah.
Not on the Murray at the raid. Hello, darlings. How are you? How is fishing? Hello, raiders. Not on the Murray is a super cute friend of mine. If you don't know them yet, they are awesome. Playing some fishing club 3D. <laughs> yeah. Nana likes to play fishing games and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. Fish shows all right. Nice. We need to make a road chip. Make a road chip. No make a road chip. Crack. Wonder how long I have on that class. How? Learn that the fish have greatest great tastes apparently. Oh? Tell me more. Anyways, we are looking at our quests right now. We need to hand these items in 13 days. We need to wait for a letter. Oh, we have to do this quest. Yakimo. Other. Yakimo. Apparently fish like cinnamons and stuff. Oh nice, and cheese, wow. That's a bit crazy. All right, so we're gonna go have to fight some Yakimo because we're, you know, out of material. And by material, I mean their skin. But we finally upgraded our weapons, so we hit a lot harder now. Ooh, an upgrade kit. <laughs> All right, come back soon. I assume it's almost time for work for you, na 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 na. Once again, thank you so much for writing. You're beautiful. <laughs> I must be a fish, for I also like cinnamon and cheese. But not together. Unless it's cinnamon and cream cheese, and then I'm screwed. And it better be on a raisin bagel. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, I can get behind that. Alphas of the whatever animal you're fighting will drop a, a repair kit, which is awesome because those things are expensive. So if you like level yourself up in the beginning and you need to, uh, an upgrade kit, just go fight an alpha. Wah, 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 wah. In about two, two hours. Oh, nice. Alright. And. We finished our quest. Let's go give this to our uh, rambling friend from the uh, ranch. Guys, look. The little baby animals look like little gummy bears. I love them so much. I don't know what this thing is, but I think it's a bunny. I just love the Yakimo and the little chickens. 
Aren't they so cute? Okay, I need to put this in my blender later to make fertilizer. He might be at home, so we're gonna go check there. <laughs> so I think our rambling man is still stuck in town square. Um, so a few of our NPCs are free range. Mihen does what she wants, Mian. And then like people like Hugo go to work. Vivi just doesn't come out anymore. And then you have these guys, perpetually stuck here as if there was a town meeting. Oh my gosh, when you go to talk to a character but instead you sit. So, while there's no town meeting, they're just kind of stuck. I, like, wonder if they put a patch through to fix it, and then I wonder if I have to, like, update or sacrifice my game to the, uh, sacrifice my game. <laughs> I hope I don't have to sacrifice it, because I work pretty hard on this. Oh, okay, so we have to work on upgrading these bad boys. Oh, no, we, we upgraded our civil grinder. Um. So we have the apprentice cooking station. Oh, okay, so we just haven't gotten the email back yet from key about our table about this upgrade we want to make sure we have a frying pan on hand and a steel frame where do we get those iron frying pan let's make it and a steel frame <laughs> we have nothing for this so uh try however we can make some rods we will make six rods and go to bed Ooh, the mysterious man has appeared. So every month in Sandrock, on the 20th, a man wearing a mask will come into town and sell mysterious things. And in some cases, he has a quest. <laughs> At least he did in the the ba -da -ba -da. Okay, we're just going to start here. Autofill, 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 autofill.
Alright, so... Grand opening is tomorrow at noon. Uh, you never guessed what I found the other day while helping ma your mom clean out your uh, room the other day. Since you never come and visit or anything. And I found an old photo album. <laughs> we were in stitches, honestly. There's so many embarrassing photos of you when you were young. You looked real goofy for a while. <laughs> I also found that one of me in my birth at my birthday. It's hilarious. We were real young and you bought me this huge donut for my birthday. I tried to eat it. And well, take a look at the photo. You remember when we used to climb the trees? <laughs> you were so annoying. You always were so terrible at climbing. And you'd fall out all the time. I remembered you'd always go crying home to your mom. But we'd try and pretend we weren't climber climbing trees. So you'd always make up some weird excuse. <laughs> Looking back on it, I think they always knew, you know? It's funny thinking back on all these memories. It makes me think of when you used to talk about your dreams. You were always so driven. I wasn't really that surprised when you headed off to make sandcastles in the desert. <laughs> I kind of want to see what kind of things you've made over there, actually. I bet you've got all kinds of weird contraptions. Well, I guess that's it for today. I told you, didn't I? Not a single complaint this time. Yes, if you show anyone that photo, I won't forgive you. P.P.S. I mean it. Your friend. Nia. But to where- Oh, story photo! Okay, so we open our inventory. And go for a photo album, and then there's story. So this is the tree we climbed when we were young. Um, a picture of the tree Nia and I used to climb when we were young. It's now grown shoots and leaves. A cute photo of Nia eating donuts when she was young. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We got some- oh, she looks like the little character that they added for the, um, uh, drum hands, drum hands, drum hands, uh, for the wish list thing. I think she was one of the goals. A new look mission updated. Oh, we better put more crap on. Yeah! Wahoo! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, this game is super cute. I like getting mail from your, like, best friend. In Porsche, you got mail from your dad occasionally? But he just, he's an explorer, and he made me want to explore more. Especially when he sent that picture from the peripheries. Let's go find that man. Iron Chef of the Free Cities. Let's go. Okay, what do you want? A bronze pick hammer. Sorry, bud. That requires upgrade tools, and I just don't, will not upgrade tools. A sharpening stone. Chase him down. Gotta get the vendor. Ah! Womp. Ho ho, another loyal customer just appeared. People call me the mysterious salesman. Always a pleasure. How fortunate it is for us to have crossed paths. 
it just so happens that you're my first customer of the day. Tell me, how's your brother doing? Perfect, that reminds me, I'm looking for someone to cooperate in the side gig. Ooh, sure, let's hear it. You know cooking, right? Basically, it's building with food. Hence my interest in working with you. No, no, no. <laughs> Not a professional chef. That's too pricey. I was always traveling through Cisse, and I picked up a few of their signature peppers. They rang from the spice, super spicy to hyper-numbing, ultra-pungent. All uniquely delicious. Borderline nutritious, and will go just about with any dish. By any dish, I mean noodles. <laughs> Sorry about that, I had to cough. I am going to choose it and just take like a little screenshot of this so I don't have to forget. <laughs> we'll just scoochie this over here. Ooh, those seaside peppers. large storage bin. Hello. Am I just going to buy one of everything? Yeah, likely. All right, we'll be back, sir. <laughs> First things first, let's put some furniture down in our house. clearly need to upgrade our house. It's a little on the small side, sadly. Ooh. Ah, look at all that space.
Look at him. He's just being little cheese bread in there. Ah, oh, he's so cute. Hello, little cheese. Meow, meow. I want to take him home. Ah, ha, ha. I'm having slight regret taking on this quest because I don't know if I can actually do it. Um, cry. <laughs>
<laughs> I think I got it. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, steamed sweet potato. All right, let's do this. We're on the cooking pot. We did it. <laughs> I, I absolutely failed this one during the beta, so it's kind of exciting to actually do it. This is a few quests that I actually failed pretty badly. <laughs> Savory broth, I can feel it in my joints. Is that yakimole taste? Excellent to choice. Oh, and the noodles are so fresh. The veggies balance out the spice. Even my wife would love this and she's, oof, noodles almost made me spill the beans. Builder, you've done it. This dish is exquisite. I'm going to take this across the free cities. I surmise that the demand will be high. Gosh, you don't know how many other people I went through trying to get this recipe, but you, you're the one. The one who can bend noodles to your very well. I think I'll call them... <laughs> uh, chow Jamala to a delicious pleasant town mien? That's uh, see, uh, <laughs> for makes you drool with joy because they make me drool I'm gonna trademark that anyways I'm gonna start uh, talking to restaurant owners in other cities meanwhile feel free to s feel free to start selling the recipe around here in Sandrock <clears throat> maybe you can work out something with that selling guy Joe just don't sell the recipe for anything less than 200 galls got me <laughs> First rule of make me a deal. You gotta ease into it. Don't just strike to the heart of the matter. Ask them about their family or something. Remember how I did? Second rule. Always let them know that you got other options. Make them desperate. That's all. I'll be on my way. I'll send you profit share later. Woo woo. Ooh, hard bargain. Let's go talk to Owen about selling our noodles. We made nudes, and he's gonna buy them. You know, I was thinking how hard it must be so, to be so strong and handsome. It's like I've been bestowed with so many gifts. Some, uh, sometimes I wish other people could know what it's like. Oh, pen. Oh, <gasps> Mimi's outside, and so is Paolo. Ooh. Hey there, Zuff. You got something on your mind? Well, actually, we're in a bit of a slump lately. I think people are getting tired of the same old recipe. The Blue Moon special is not so special anymore, I guess you could say. I've been back in the kitchen trying to cook up something new and exciting, but so far, it's a no-go. If only there was someone out there, someone who could bring the spark of innovation back to the menu. 
Speaking of which, you got a cooking station not that long ago. How's it going? Any tips? I've been remaking common dishes. Hmm. You can be onto something. Everybody likes bread and rice and stuff. But if you uh, have some way to spice up the classics, that could be just the thing I need. Don't leave me hanging here. Surely you're not just spitballing. You've got something in mind. I can tell. That sounds pretty hot. I didn't even know they had that many kind of peppers. All right, what else? All right, Selfie, make an offer. <laughs> ah, we failed. She did, huh? Maybelle. She's a fine enough lady, eh? I can't really stand uh, the idea of being out noodled by anyone, no matter how much I like them. Tell you what, since everyone's after the stars of the pea, how about I pay you double? But only if you promise to keep the droll with joy noodles at the blue moon exclusively in Sand Rock. Well, pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> yeah. In any case, I'll try out your recipe soon. I'll let you know what I think. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Easy money. <laughs> and then we go steal from Yan. Haha, <laughs> got your jerky ass face. You've got crabs ass face. <laughs> oh no, so why don't you catch me? Stupid scrawl ass mate. Pardon me while I just like quote nonsense to myself. We need a questy for the day. <laughs> you know what? Maybelle needs a new iron frying pan. Let's do it. Can't say no to Maybelle. She just made us some money and she's gonna make us more. Honestly, thought that I already started the the next uh, bit of research, but I guess when we restarted because he died, everything changed. <laughs> the Fire Nation arrived. As we did just upgrade our weapons, let's go. Um, I want to see if we can take on those uh, hyenas. 
<laughs> it was very Disney hyenas. <laughs> they look like Ed from The Lion King. And then the alpha looks like Ed got dripped on by the word drip. <laughs> There's just a fence here, but we're crossing it. Rebels. Mostly I just want to see what items they drop. Woo! He hits a little hard. They even sound like the hyenas from Aladdin. I meant not Aladdin. Lion King. Okay, he killed us. Well, we learned our lesson. We are still not ready for those guys. But also, I have to take a phone call, so I might have to cut the stream short, but I will be back later. Lots of love. Thank you, Kiba, for the follow, and Nana for the raid today. Lots of love. 